word, the first things that comes to our mind are alcohol, drugs, and smoking. But these are not the only things that we can be addicted to. Addiction is a brain disorder characterized by the compulsive use of a substance or action despite harmful effects. Some people have addictions to video games and social media sites like Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Oblivious to their surroundings and one minute without them would be boring. Some people may have tendencies to check their social media sites for notifications every now and then. Some people may be addicted to TV serials and online streaming services like Netflix. Some are addicted to foods like chocolates, sweets, cakes, burgers, and pizzas. Some are addicted to shopping or online shopping sites when they don't actually need to buy anything. So, let's analyze the science of addiction. The limbic system in our brain is a major part that leads to addiction. This reward system in the brain helps to memorize the things required for our survival and give us pleasure. It also reminds us to repeat the same thing in the future. For example, it is essential to eat food for our survival. And it's our limbic system that reminds us to repeat this action every day. In the same way, when we play a video game, it's the same limbic system that reinforces us to continue playing. In our brain, neurons communicate with each other by releasing chemicals known as neurotransmitters. Information from one neuron is transferred to another neuron through synapse, a small gap between two neurons. There are three main parts of the synapse. Presynaptic ending that contains neurotransmitters, postsynaptic ending that has receptor sites for neurotransmitters, and the space between presynaptic ending and postsynaptic ending. Imagine we are eating a mango for the first time. We like it and feel to eat it again because of the neurotransmitters called dopamine, released by the limbic system. They will be attached to the receptors of the nearby neurons and pass information to it. It not only gives us satisfaction and pleasure, but also a motivation to repeat it in the future. In the same way, dopamine is released when people use things like social media, video gaming, junk food, drugs, alcohol, smoking, etc. Another neurotransmitter released along with dopamine is glutamate, which is related to memory. When more glutamate is produced, the substance or action will be memorized in more detail. This gives us the feeling of excitement and motivation and reinforces us to repeat in the future. But when these things are abused, dopamine levels will be increased drastically. This increases pleasure and tendency to use it again and again. But if we repeat it for a long time, our brain will try to balance it by reducing the number of neurotransmitters and receptors. Thus, we cannot feel the same pleasure and excitement at the time. This is a state of tolerance, where people need to take more of it to experience the same feeling. Now the person gets totally addicted. This can be harmful to health, work, and daily activities. If the addiction is uncontrollable, consult the doctor. If it's in its early beginning stages, try dopamine fasting. I will talk more about it in the next video. But before you leave, find out if you have an addiction. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.